Welcome everyone. So today I'm going to show you how to create a new project in the Microsoft Azure DevOps. Um, first thing that you need to do is to navigate to dev.azure.com and uh, sign in. If you have an account, if you don't have an account, uh, you will have to register um, on, the, on the website. It's quite a straightforward process. In just a couple of clicks, you will have your account. Uh, the next step would be to create your organization. So you will just put a name and then you can host your project inside this organization. As you may see, my organization is called Size of Eight and uh, I don't have any projects uh, associated with this organization yet. So uh, I see this, the screen saying create a project to get started. So I'm just going to go ahead and uh, choose the project name. So I'm just going to call it uh, test, uh, oops, test project, uh, nervous, uh, test project one. Well, just let's call it test project and uh, I'm going to skip the description for now. Um, I don't really uh, care about the description for this project and I'm just going to choose the visibility now. So as you may see, we have two options. We have a public visibility and we have a private one. A uh, private one is for, um, yeah, let's say like a closed team members. So the projects that you're going to work on for your clients or, or some of your private uh, startups or something like this. While the public are the projects where, which anyone can see and uh, yeah you will get some benefits with the public in a form of uh, build time minutes that that's like the biggest uh, feature that i noticed so far uh, and uh, it said here that uh, certain features like tfvc are not supported which is quite interesting because if you click on the advanced here you will see that we have the option to choose actually team foundation ver version control uh, but we will just stick with git for now uh, work item process. They have they there are a couple of available uh, processes uh, in the in the Azure DevOps. So out of the box. So we'll just stick with a basic one uh, because it's it's really quite uh, simple uh, to understand. So as we have finished our setup, we can just click uh, create project, and our project is going to be well created. Give it a second and here we are so right now we're in our test project where we can uh, do well quite significant amount of things so we can go to uh, well invite someone to the project we can um, you know we can uh, create our own dashboards we can go and create our uh, summary pages write a documentation inside a wiki uh, in the boards we would uh, essentially put our uh, work items, you know, we can just create a work item um, and uh, put it on a top. Uh, you can define your sprints, iterations, how many people are going to work. You can, uh, you can truly do a lot of, a lot of things. There is also one thing, which is a marketplace. So you can even go to the marketplace and install certain extensions for the DevOps. Uh, you can even build the extensions, obviously publish it to the marketplace and then use it to your project. Um, you, you, you can also create uh, a, a different, uh, different teams as well, but uh, yeah, we, we will not do anything like this uh, for now on. And um, I'm just going to like skip this, this part and I'm just going to go ahead and explain what will be the next steps. So the next step would be uh, to create our repository. So the Git repository, as we have already selected. Um, it's also really, really straightforward process. So DevOps is doing a lot of things for you. So there's absolutely no need for any command line tools or anything like this. You can just uh, go ahead and click initialize and this uh, repository is going to be initialized. That's it. We will have a readme file. So I have um, left uh, the readme file um, in the in a checkbox in the wizard before so I have it right there so I can clone my repository right now to my local machine and afterwards I'm going to be able to uh, push the code create my own branches etc etc um, then the, after we push some code to our repositories the next step would be uh, to create a build pipelines to create a release pipelines to set up some variables that we're going to use and uh, as soon as we finalize this, we will have the complete automation process. Uh, however, um, in order to deploy uh, our resources somewhere, we will need also certain machines that are going to be used um, to uh, host those, those applications. And uh, what we're going to do in the next step 
is we're going to clone the repository to our local system. We're going to create a couple of branches and we're going to add a template code of the um, basic um, MVC.NET Core uh, project. So simple out of the box Microsoft setup and then we're going to uh, work on our build and release pipelines for our project. So that's it for the DevOps for now.